Keep in mind, of course, guys, that Mirage is not fielding their full roster today. Razor, unfortunately, is not able to play as he's taking some time away. So they have their coach filling in for them. As we can see on this round, though, things continuing to struggle for Mirage oh. with that loss as... Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, nicely done, Guerrero on the Blitz, finding a target and executing it as J9O gets traded, and we go down into a 4v4. Right, Forrest with potentially another pick here, but now he's getting ran down by the Blitz. Melted will take him out. Okay. A fantastic clear of the building, all off of the back of the coach. Now he can set himself up for this. Knocks out Thomas. Knows is another one trying to work their way in from construction side. Melted and Guerrero both end up winning fights. Guerrero was 1v2. However, at the same time, Marm is right back in it. <laughs> Guerrero's done it again as he wins another direct 1v1 with the Blitz, taking down off. Shuttle. It's in a 3v2. Tomas being able to sneak himself directly past his first doorway in a CCTV and might mean there's going to be a surprise waiting on the inside if that player was still there. But as you guys can see, He's falling back, okay, not fully, oh. as Melted not only takes out the player holding this position, but his support as well, with a beautiful follow-up headshot on the Slash. Sweater even gets one more going here for Beast Coast, but it's quickly once again retraded by Melted, who gets his third kill on the round. Fantastic clear from Mirage, backed up with the drone info, but he'll get gunned down as Marmalade will more than likely be able to secure the plan off the back of these efforts. Yarrow with a fantastic kill. He'll break the double for jungle as well and see if he can continue keeping on. But Surf is going to start to send things back down to earth here for Mirage. What is tries to make up for it, but no, Anthony trades us back again. No one can seem to maintain an advantage here. As at the moment, it's Beast Coast holding it, but just barely at a 3v2. We're going to see, though, the Toxic Babe just bleeding out from Guerrero right now as he's only able to use them at this very late point of the round so constantly holding back the tide from Beast Coast. Beast Coast can't really swing past this directly at least Drip can. Guerra waiting but he misses that initial pump. He's gonna correct it though and pick up that first kill. Benji helping him out for the second and it's the penultimate round now on the board for Mirage as they only need one more to secure a massive upset versus Beast Coast. Marm is slowly opening up a flanked angle as soon as he hard commits that should be an easy pick for Marm to end the game outright. Keep the 7-4 train alive but it's not even gonna be needed for Marm, it's Garrett to do it. The coach shuts it down, and Mirage pulls off the upset. The FMG9 will find his first kill onto Benji. He looks oh, for a Gara. second one here, but like you said, Gara sneaking in from behind, catching creators off guard and opening this one up. Are Paravalum going to continue with that confidence we saw in round six that got them into a little bit of trouble, or are they going to slow things down and play a bit more methodical here? Looks like it is going to be at least a oh. top-down clear, the initial plan from Parabellum, and already having a couple of issues with that. Mara's starting to get a little low on time here. 30 seconds remaining. They still need to get back case control if they're going to be looking to get a plant instead of just ending this on a DM, essentially. Gomez ready to check out the Nitro, but he's about five seconds too late. Still actually gets about half the health pool off of Gara, though, so not too bad at the end of the day. So he'll be brought down low. Well, yes, Gara will sneak off that kill against Gomez. There are other player needing to pick up the pace oh. though and work their way back in there's oh an opening God. for Gara but he's missed the opportunity to actually take out the player corrects on it however and does manage successfully knock out Gomez 